male ducks glitter. Their mates, though, resemble a sun-bleached prairie. The females, for the most part, nest on the ground, and being relatively large birds, easy for predators to find there, they suffer high mortality rates. So, the more drab the mother, the better her chance of survival. Now, hood and merganser females don't, as it happens, nest on the ground. They brood their eggs in tree cavities, or now that wood duck boxes are common, in bows. Sometimes the hooded merganser female even lays her eggs in with wood duck eggs. Despite nesting off the ground though, hoodie and wood duck females have to blend in. So both of them basically have tree bark for plumage. The wood duck shuns the limelight, allowing herself only an eye ring for jewelry. The hooded merganser female, however, owns the runway. Her crest, somewhere between a Victorian lady's hat and a punk rock hairdo, is almost as flamboyant as the one on her mate. Muted to be sure, but flashy nevertheless. Like most other female ducks, the hoodie will raise her brood by herself. The male serves only one purpose. Once the eggs hatch, she'll have the ducklings out of that nest within a day. And during that day, she clucks to them constantly, familiarizing them with her voice. That's important because soon she'll be calling to them from far below the nest, urging these flightless youngsters to do something a little bit crazy. Jump. Down only 10 feet in the best circumstance, but as much as 50 feet below for some nests. But they're up for it and equipped for it. They want out and tiny claws in their webbed feet enable them to get out. As their mother's siren voice urges them to join her, they clamor all over each other for a chance to claw their way up that wall and topple out. Wrong wall, little guy, wrong wall. The world that greets them as they totter up over the edge must be a surprise, but with little more than a glance, they leap. Okay, there's always one who has to overthink it, but he need not hesitate. These fluff balls land not with a splat, but with a little bounce and then they follow their mama from that narrow pinched cavity they were hatched in toward the water they were born for. Water is their element, but even so, all that paddling can wear a little one out. Think toddler with his arms extended, begging to be carried. <laughs> 